Get all your Star Wars figs and more at the eBay store Bounty Hunters Guild. Links in the description. Check them out. What's going on guys? Mr. Domo here back again with another action figure review. This time it's on the Hasbro Star Wars, the Black Series, the Mandalorian credit collection here uh and of course we have the imperial death trooper and uh i've already put out these other guys here i already did a review on these guys and they look amazing and i cannot wait to dig into this one because that imperial death trooper uh design is freaking sexy man it is really really sexy so there you have the imperial death trooper and of course since this is the credit collection uh we have the imperial credit there and this thing looks really amazing uh look at that man really clean uh the car back really nice super flat as you can see right there uh really cool design and of course these are based off the end credit scenes of each of the episodes of the mandalorian so obviously if you're watching the show then you know that you know at the end uh they do have a lot of concept art there uh for you know the the you know the episodes and stuff or chapters so really awesome here is the back of course and of course this is what it's inspired by uh this end credit scene right here looks really dope and of course you know you have a little bio there just explaining why you know what's the whole purpose behind this uh credit collection here so really awesome uh i can't wait like i said man i think uh the imperial death trooper is a really awesome design so let me get this guy out of the box or the out of the card and then we'll check out that figure all right guys so there he is man the imperial death trooper really awesome really dope uh design I'm, I'm i really really dig it i really dig the color scheme of it it looks really nice i love the half kind of orange and half purple there on his face mask it looks really really good uh so he does come with the imperial uh credit here so this is the one that he comes with it's a little bit more of a copper color and then of course here are the rest for the other guys right now so just missing mando and then this will be complete but as you can see these are all the rest the design is pretty much the same of course you know uh these little imperial credits are the same and of course they are plastic so uh now we have four imperial credits really really awesome just displaying them just like that looks really really dope and this guy right here i mean no exception this guy looks really really good as you can see right here i mean look at that man really nice design really dig it man he's got like this kind of like a grayish kind of uh color to him um i, I don't know if you guys could see that but i could really see a, a really kind of a dark gray and then of course underneath he has more of a black color there and this is more of a uh, flat gray but it looks really really good he does come with two accessories so he does have his uh sidearm here which is this little blaster here and you do have this kind of different holster i want to say uh as you can see it is a soft plastic loop there uh which is really interesting so you do have his little blaster here as you can see look at that it looks really really nice so really cool you got the little scope there and then of course here it is the little blaster so you do have that little blaster and it sits in really well in that little loop uh i wonder if you could probably interchange it to uh to put the actual rifle that he's holding uh but you could pretty much just have it there hanging so pretty interesting design there to have the accessory onto uh the you know death trooper here and then of course he does have this uh rifle blaster here let me just take this off really cool uh and this looks really really good i i, I really dig this uh this rifle uh blaster design it looks really really nice as you can see it's got like a little tactical knife there uh, a little bit red right there at the muzzle and then of course it's mostly all gray and then you have a little bit of red right there kind of like at the ejection port so really cool design uh i don't know if it's gonna look good i don't i don't know how it's gonna look if i do insert it i don't i don't think it's really meant for uh the rifle blaster to be inserted here you could do it though as you can see right there so i mean that's the the beauty of having it like a, just a loop style is that you can put the rifle blaster there if you wanted to and then he could hold his uh you know his blaster pistol there if you wanted to do that so you do have that option and it actually doesn't look too bad as you can see right here so uh there is the rifle holstered right there onto the loop and then he's holding his uh, blaster pistol so actually it's not too bad so you do have that option which is really cool um, if it was just like a regular holster then obviously it'd be a holster just for uh, the pistol
pistol and then not for the rifle but with this design right here with this soft loop uh it does give you that option to to do whatever you want which is pretty cool actually i, I, I kind of dig it uh here's the back end right there really nice not really too much color i mean the main focus is on the front obviously because that's how we see them uh at the end credit scene but as you can see man half of it is pretty much you see like a splash of orange paint onto them all the way to the bottom here and then of course uh on one side of the arm you do have that nice purple and then of course on the helmet right here let me bring it close look at that man that looks real <laughs> that's really sick man i really love that 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 looks really really good that's really really tight right there man i love that you got the half purple there and then of course a little bit of orange so really really cool design uh, i gotta say the most the most uh, that has the color right now in this uh Cara dune has some color don't get me wrong right but um i, I just love the, the the color scheme of the uh, ig 11 there it looks really really dope uh so this guy obviously uh articulation is probably gonna be really really good so uh of course at the head he could you know look side to side he could definitely look up and he could definitely look down which is really nice he does have a ball joint right there at the shoulders and then he does have these shoulder pads but they're kind of more uh connected to his upper um i want to say his upper bicep right here so as you can see it's not connected to the shoulders it's actually connected right there to the bicep so that's really cool uh you do have one uh you know what's it call it knee joint not knee joint elbow joint excuse me man uh and then of course you do have another joint at the hand uh at the waist uh really good he does have a nice rotation there uh arching his back not he, he could do it you know you do have a little slight gap and not too it's not like really really bad which is kind of good and then of course if he's bending down he could bend down a little bit so really really good and then of course at the legs uh he does have another ball joint right there and then he does have a upper thigh rotation and then of course this guy is rocking a uh, a dual knee joint as you can see right there so that's really really good and then of course he does have another joint here at the ankles which is my favorite because it's really nice to get him balanced uh even on some un you know uneven surfaces so that is really really cool but overall man i mean look at the design man that looks really sick really nice look at that that. really really cool of course he's got some pouches going on around him and everything he's got that silver uh, paint right there on his uh, belt buckle really cool design really nice and like I said man I, I, I this is interesting this is really different oh for me I, I haven't seen it yet but I like that because like I said you do have the option of holstering his uh, sidearm here and so you could just kind of use this for the sidearm and then of course you know you have his rifle where he could hold it or he could you know swap it out so it looks really dope but overall man this is a pretty damn good design and I, I, I hope I hope we see more of these guys, man. I really do. I hope it wasn't just a, a short glimpse of, of, you know, these guys. I hope they do come out in later uh, chapters in the Mandalorian show. But overall, man, this guy looks pretty damn dope. So there he is, guys. So uh, let me know what you think, man. Are you going to pick one up? If so, I mean, let me know in the comments below. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for the support. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.